are going to perform for you an epic tale. It's going to be Oscar winning, BAFTA worthy. It's going to have a beginning, a middle and an end. It's going to be wonderful, but it needs a title for this epic tale. I need this title from you guys. What is the title of this epic tale? What title can we have? The Shrimp Who Loved a Tortoise. The Shrimp Who Loved a Tortoise. Excellent, strong start. That horse looks kind of hot. What was on? That horse looks kind of hot. That horse looks kind of hot. Strong, uh, strong bestiality vibes in this room. Any more, any more, any more. The hair who wore a sweater. The hair who wore a sweater. Now, this is the story of the hair who wore a sweater. Uh, can we have a round of applause for the hair who wore a sweater? Then <laughs> again, darling. Yes, that's right, knitting away just like I do every night. Every goddamn night. Every goddamn night. <laughs> I mean, don't we want to go out on town? Show your pretty face to the people of our, our little village? No, you don't understand. When I knit, I experience a, a calm that most people don't understand. That's why I said you don't understand. <laughs> I understand, but I mean, why do you need to be calm? I mean, you got a good life. I provide for you. I built this shack with my own two hands. I make money. I put food on the table. Why, do you, why are you so stressed all the time? Why do you need this calm, darling? Open up to me. Uh, I don't know if I can. I've had a tough life. And right now, I'm content just as it is, Barry. I love you, Barry, but I'm not going to the club with you tonight. <laughs> Come on! We used to love going to the club I'm not together. going to the club. Popping that moves in the club? Come on! Well, you did have the moves I remember. Come on! Oh. <laughs> you were known for your slut dropping. I was known for my slut. Let's see it! Slut dropping, Terry! Mm. Whoa! Uh, but those days are over. Why? Come on, let's feel young again. Who you even didn't that far? It's not like we have any kids or anything. It looks it's so small. It's so small. Who's that sweater for? And it better not be fucking ridiculous. Well, you know the hair is out back. I know the hair's out black to go in that vegetable patch. I'd have chased him away, goddammit. Well, the other day, whilst you were out at the club, <laughs> I was sat here knitting. Uh, yeah, I would have <laughs> And I heard this sound, like a shivering sound. Oh, oh. <laughs> I haven't heard that sound in quite some time in my married life. <laughs> And I looked outside and I saw this little hair shivering in the cold. It's mighty cold outside at the moment. That's winter for you. <laughs> and so, I know it's a bit strange, but... Wait, wait a minute. Are you telling me that you have been knitting that for a fucking hair? That past? He's called Jimmy. He's called Jimmy. <laughs> and he's just called because all the other hares have a full pack of hair on them. But not Jimmy. He's... <laughs> he's like a... I understand why you were late to that. <laughs> Darling! about you. 
Because this behavior is fucking crazy. And you even get, get the help you need and you stop and sweat as for hands. Well, this relationship is over. I'll be going to the club. I'll be going to the club. I'm going to be slow dropping for someone. Mary, you've been going to the club for a long time now. Too long. And I've been here by myself. I invited you to the club every night. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how this conversation began? <laughs> Perhaps I should knit a sweater for this relationship so that I could warm it up. Oh. 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 Well, I can tell if you're being seductive or being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the latter. <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> Which is it? Come over here! <laughs> <laughs> it's the ladder! <laughs> the ladder, come here! <laughs> see over there? See, look. That's, see the group of hairs and the one in the middle? Who had sweater? Oh my god, they, they putting on a catwalk show? <laughs> Exactly! And if they're gonna be super smart, 
Increasing the super smart side of their brain, already probably increasing the sexual appetite part of their brain too. I mean, that was disproven. Uh, it's all one brain. Another <laughs> <laughs> uh, intern just died. <laughs> Marky. Another. <laughs> Will we have long for you, <laughs> Oh, 
I remember, <laughs> I remember the day I met my wife in this club. Well, maybe you couldn't meet a second five. <laughs> <laughs> I made a vow under God to have him to hold in richness and bonus. In sickness, and she is pretty fucking sick right now. <laughs> <laughs> and that vow was more important than just some fling with a German woman, no matter how beautiful and freakishly tall you are. <laughs> yeah, but wouldn't you like to play pin the penis on my nipple? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need a sip of be careful. <laughs> Now 
I know I took out that hair pretty successful, Alexander, but uh, it's too slow. I'm just one man and you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's why I set up a perimeter of mines all around this town. Oh, I should stop driving, man. <laughs> On their tail. That's right, my, my amazing detective skills figured out that's who we're after. <laughs> some sort of food company that are making food that makes people smarter, but their hands are started eating it and they didn't like that for some reason. <laughs> Never fully explained it, but that's why they're doing it. Oh my god, let me hack in. <laughs> they're planting mines around the whole town, they're gonna blow up the club. <laughs> we, gotta, we better step on it. Fire! <laughs> Miss. God damn, I'm saying there's something shooting at us. Don't fight for you, bitch. But you got the wheel somehow. <laughs> can't tell if that's American or British car based on the position of steering wheel. Quick, I've got a few needles in the back of the needle gun. Needles? Yes. Yes. What? Okay. Fire the fucking needles. I'm going to tie. Sorry, I fucking need your sweaters, okay? Shut the 